show. I'm Meredith Brockman with a very special guest. I think you're going to know who this man is. Nick Swisher, the newest <laughs> member of our Yes Network crew. Oh, yeah. 12 years in the league, four with the New York Yankees. I have to imagine it always feels good oh, to come back here. Man, it was funny. I was driving in this morning. I was right there coming across the bridge. And when you see the cathedral, you see Yankee <laughs> Stadium, you know you're home. And so for me, I'm so happy to be here. I'm so back being here with you, working today, having the most, the best time ever. Super stoked to be here. Well, we have batting practice going yeah, on right. right now. And we have some guys that have been swinging the bat very well. This offense as a whole over the last three games has been outstanding. Nick, what stood out to you? I, I tell you what, uh, he's standing right to the next, right next <laughs> to us. And Anthony Volpe has really kind of shot off the charts to me today. The fact that he had the struggles that he did last year. He couldn't get, couldn't catch up to the fastball up top. Mm -hmm. Couldn't get to the slider down and away. Was swinging at pitches all out of the zone. He has adjusted all of that. You saw it in spring yep. training. We're seeing it now. 417 batting average, leading the league in batting average right now. Could not be more happy the strides he's taking. He's hitting a little lower in the lineup, which I think is absolutely perfect for him. He's going to be a 40 stolen base guy. If he continues to get on base the way he is right now, it could be 50 or 60. Who knows? Hey, and he won a gold glove last year, but you look at some of the defensive plays last night. Stellar in the field as well. And you mentioned the stolen bases early last year when he was getting on base. He was running quite a bit, and then that kind of tapered off. When he continues to get on, he's going to be fun to watch, and that's just a whole new wrinkle for this Yankees offense. 100%, but I also think bringing over somebody like the chosen one, Juan <laughs> Soto. Being able to have him in our lineup, or in the Yankees lineup, has really created diversity from top to bottom. And I think for me, that's exactly what you would want as a manager. Looking at it from a manager's perspective, the fact that we have diversity from top to bottom. We've got left-right matchups. We've got speed at the bottom. John Birdie coming over, 41 stolen bases for the Miami Marlins a couple years ago. The fact that he bunted yesterday. Yeah, right? on first and second. We have not seen oh, that a lot. We haven't seen that in a minute. <laughs> so I think for me, there's an air and a joy about this team that yeah. we haven't seen in a minute, and it's great to be back. It does definitely feel like a little bit of a different vibe. Of course, it's easy to feel different when they're getting off to this type of a start, but you mentioned Juan Soto, and you look at his at-bats, the way he works counts, sees pitches. Do you feel like that's contagious within other guys of the offense? 150 percent, Mary. You could not have hit the nail on the head more. If you think about it, more than what he does on the field for the New York Yankees, I think, is what he's been able to do off the field, yeah. in the locker room. The overall, the way these young players, like Oswaldo Cabrera, looks up to him and he says I've watched him from the moment he showed up in spring training and if you don't think that Juan Soto has had a little bit to do with the start that Oswaldo has had no doubt I think it's absolutely perfect he's doing exactly what he needs to do his strike zone discipline is off the charts getting all base at a 500 clip has been absolutely amazing to see and it's finally awesome to see him on the Yankee side you know what Anthony Volpe has mentioned that too and what's wild to me is when you think of Juan Soto you feel like he's been in the league forever but really 25 years old and he's doing the things he's doing now I know you've patrolled right field out there for a very long time as a Yankee 280 games including the postseason you used to receive a lot of love yes. but what do you think of the love that Juan Soto is getting out there from Yankees fans let, let me tell you I'm a little jealous I really am I mean the, the fact that I was able to be part of all this the fact that I was able to be part of the bleacher creatures the fact that I have a relationship with them that I was able to do so when Juan Soto runs out to right field I know exactly what he's feeling <laughs> there is a feeling of warmth there is a welcomeness that comes with the bleacher creatures and if you establish a relationship with them just like they said in new york if the fans fall in love with you you'll never leave and it seems like that's exactly what's happening with juan soto right now now we saw him do something yesterday nestor was working incredibly quick got ready incredibly quick and he actually <laughs> signed an autograph right before nestor threw a pitch and aaron boone said it today he's done a great job of really that fine line the balancing act oh, yeah. of having fun between the lines but also making sure you're prepared you're putting in the work could you ever imagine doing something like that maybe, maybe. you know me i can, <laughs> put, you, I can yeah. push the envelope just a little bit but i think just in general I'm, I'm gonna take it even a step further than what you're talking about maybe signing an autograph during the game might not be the best thing <laughs> But the fact he's wearing his hat on backwards in the post-game interviews, like, there's yeah. just a fun, it's fun about man. that. It's fun. And it's right. I mean, you've been here for, what, this is your 13th year, if ah, I'm not mistaken. You are correct. Right? <laughs> and so, like, you've seen the ups and the downs of yeah. this organization. And last year, you were here for all 162 games. You saw how this team, it was, there was a lot of guys that were pressing. There were a lot of guys that were trying to do things that they weren't capable of doing. 
now it seems like everybody's fallen into line. Everybody knows exactly what they're capable of doing, and there's a there's a familiarity with that. When you show up to the ballpark and you know every day Glaber's leading off and Juan's hitting two and the captain's hitting three. <laughs> what I like is that Booney's kind of mixing and matching with the Rizzo Stanton in the four hole right now, which has been amazing. Alex Verdugo has been absolutely fantastic for us so far. And the starting pitching, getting eight innings out of Nasty Nestor last night was huge, especially for the bullpen. Hey, you mentioned Rizzo and Stanton. John Carlos Stanton seems re-energized over the last couple of days. We just heard from him on the <laughs> desk a little while ago. What have you thought of Stanton? I tell you what, uh, one thing that I can honestly say to you was the first day that he walked into that locker room. Mm -hmm. And when he, when everybody saw the work that he had put in physically on his body to get him ready for this 2024 season, we're talking shed 30 pounds yep. and for a guy that has made the money that he's made the accolades that he has he has an MVP to his name all-star but he's still working and if it means that much to him everybody in that locker room paid attention because they know if it means that much to him it should mean that much to everybody else as well well it's gonna be Carlos Rodon on the mound John Carlos Stanton is the cleanup hitter today and all the usual suspects for the most part are in that lineup but that is going to do it for Nick and myself at the cage but don't you worry we have plenty more BP takeover coming your way after the break.